Yo, what's good guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to lower your process count in Windows. Lower process count means lower usage and more performance. So with that said, let's get into the video. Go on my Discord and on the left side under free tweaks, you're gonna see process lowering and download this pack right here. And just as a benchmark, before we use the whole pack, these are my processes on Windows. So I'm at 147, which is really bad. So once you have this pack, drag it to your desktop and right click on it and click extract all and then click extract and it will open another window. Double click inside of here. And the first thing we're going to do is create a restore point in case you want to go back from these tweaks we made. So double click on create restore point and then click on open. And then it will give you this window. Go to the go to your local disk and click on create and then name this anything you want. Then click on OK. And the first thing we're going to do is hop into MS config and see if we have any updater files. So double click on system configuration and click open. And then at the top, click where it says services and click the check that says hide all Microsoft services. And inside here, you're just going to look for any elevation or updater services. So right here on LG Hub, I have an updater service. So I'm going to uncheck this Chrome elevation. I'm going to uncheck this Google updater, uncheck Google updater, uncheck. And that's all I have in here. So I'm going to click on OK and click exit without restart. And then we're going to hop into auto runs. So hit left click and then click on run as administrator and hit yes. And then click on agree. And then at the top, click where it says log on and inside of here, uncheck everything besides CMD and the NA files. So just like this, and then you can close out of this and then double click on task manager, click open and then come to startup apps and click where it says status right here. And so this arrow is pointing downwards. Disable everything you don't want starting when your PC first boots. So for me, I'm going to disable everything because I want the lowest processes possible. And I can close out of this. And then I have four folders at the top. This first folder is going to disable Bluetooth. The second one will disable Microsoft store services. Third one will disable printer services. And the fourth one will disable useless services. So for example, if I want to use this one, come into the folder and then go to this notepad document. And this is going to show you everything that's being disabled. So if you use anything in here, do not run this file because it's going to make it stop work. Get my X out of this and right click on disable all services and click on run as administrator. And then it'll do some tweaks and I can press any key to continue. And then I'm going to go back and run disable printer services. So right click run as administrator. And just like before, I have a text document in here with everything this is disabling. This is just useless printer stuff since most of us are not printing. And you can click any key. And then disable Microsoft Store services. This will disable Microsoft Store and Xbox app. So if you want to see an in-depth of what this uninstalls, just like the other ones, open this document and you can see everything in here that this is going to disable and then right click on disable Microsoft store services. And just like before run as administrator, then click any key. If you see access is denied, don't worry about this. It does not matter. And then go back and I'm also going to disable Bluetooth because I do not use it. And then click any key. And after I've done all that, I can restart my PC and I'm going to do that right now and get back to you with my new updated process count. All right. So now I'm back on windows. I haven't even checked what processes we're at. So I'm going to open task manager. And as you can see, now we're at 80 processes before we're at around 150. So this is a big jump. And another thing that you might've noticed is that our usages are way lower than before. Before my memory usage was way higher. My CPU usage was way higher. And my SSD usage was a little bit higher, I believe. If you want your processes even lower, go to risentweaks.com for the best computer optimization tools on the market. We have over 4,000 reviews on the Discord or website combined, many of them showing off their process counts after using our tweaks, so I can guarantee you that you're going to love the results. But with that said, I hope you all have an amazing day.